Hi everyone, this is Space Toad, and welcome to tutorial number 5, I guess, on the Starspore Blueprint Builder. We're now going to talk about hull components and internal structures. Uh, components is going to be quite fast. Uh, I can activate them by clicking on the hull component tools here, and I can basically do three things. Holes in the bearing faces, windows, and engine insertion. Um, the one important thing to keep in mind is that if you look at this piece of hull here, not all the faces uh, can accept to have elements inserted into them. Uh, only those faces that are called the bearing faces can. So those would be the faces that uh, you could modify through the basic and advanced hull tools, for example. Uh, I can highlight them this way. So don't worry if, if sometimes it might uh, throw you off. For example, if I increase the size of this uh, face here, if I increase the distance from the center, uh, there is this big area here that I can't click on because it's not a bearing face, it's just connection between two faces. And similarly, I won't be able to put any hull component on this. So now, let's now look at what is available. I'm going to just put this uh, selection somewhere else. So, um, hole does um, the obvious thing, it creates a hole on the face and if you click on the sides again you're going to be able to fill uh, this hole. Window will create some kind of a small frame window um, at the location where you click. In order to remove the window, you need to go back to Hole and then uh, click on the window again. And I'm just uh, removing the windows here. Engine works the exact same way. Uh, that is to say, it's being inserted when you click on the um, on the face. And going back to Hole, I can remove those engines. Uh, there are going obviously to be some gameplay impact on the location of these engines in the hull but uh, not implemented yet it's to come later. Anyway, so that was the short part on hull components. Now I want to take some more time on this internal structure thing and to show the point I'm actually going to uh, create a bit of a hole here and as a matter of fact the um, window was not properly removed. I have no idea why. Uh, probably one of the small bugs still in this version. Anyway, and as you can see, I created a bit more holes than expected. Again, uh, that's one of the small bugs that you'll have on this version of Starspore. Anyway, going back to internal structure. Uh, internal structure will allow me to create platforms inside the hull. So with that I'm going to be able to create walls, um, ceiling, floor, rooms, those kind of things. So as soon as I select internal structure, as you can see, there are these white balls that appear. These are anchors. Again, anchors are uh, only provided on bearing faces of the spaceship. So here, no anchor, but if I go to the bearing face here, I'm going to have a few of these. Um, the idea is to uh, create things inside the ship. So let's get started. I'm going to uh, select the free move um, navigation mode by clicking on this X here, which makes it a lot more easy. And then what I want to do is create uh, a small platform here in front of the window. So I'm going to click on the first anchor. So as you can see the color of the anchor changed. It's now yellow which means that that's the last uh, position that has been selected. And I have this grid that appeared which will allow me to place uh, points, to place points for the surface uh, at locations that are not directly related to anchors. Uh, by the way, if I change my uh, vision, like for example, if I look underneath, the grid will be automatically readjusted uh, to allow me to create um, points uh, at different uh, locations. 
Okay, so in this case, I'm a, I am going to only use the anchors. So I'm selecting this point here, and then I'm going to this face, and uh, selecting an anchor here. Then as you can see, the grid, as soon as I place three uh, points, the grid automatically um, gets set to the plane on which I'm walking. When I create um, a platform, I can only do that on a given plane. So anyway, carrying on, I'm going to select this anchor here, and when I go to the um, back to the initial object, so let me get something symmetrical. Actually, uh, by the way, as you can see, if I click on one element again, it removes it from the list. So here I made a small mistake. I'm clicking on it again. I'm going to click on this one, and then go back uh, to the initial point, which creates um, the surface here. So I'm cr I've created some kind of uh, floor here. I'm now going to create um, some kind of uh, a wall here with a door. So again, click on one of the anchors, and this time I'm going to use this um, grid here to uh, create some kind of a door. So let's click here and then select a point on the grid like this. And I can go back to using anchors afterwards. And as you can see, I can create a shape that uh, looks like a wall with a door in the middle. Now, last thing that I want to show with regards to this um, to this grid is that when it's not yet fixed, it can be moved. So let's say I want to create some kind of uh, uh, a platform with a slope going upwards here. I'm going to start from this anchor and uh, this time, let's see that I want to move this horizontal grid above. I'm hitting control, and when I hit control, I can move the grid up and down. Uh, as you can see, uh, the grid is moving according to where I uh, move the mouse. So here, the grid is a little bit upwards, and I can select a position in the grid, like so. Then again, I have my third point here. The grid automatically got adjusted to the uh, plane I'm currently working on. I'm finishing the work here by creating um, this small surface, this small plane that's a little bit um, going upwards. And uh, that's about it for this uh, tutorial on hull components and internal structure. In the last video, in the last tutorial, we're going to talk about material and uh, wrap, wrap things up.